Hello students, good morning, how are you? I hope you all okay and uh, enjoying the topic uh, that continuing now that is the chapter of class 11 that is chapter 6 and the chapter is anatomy of flowering plants in which we are studying about different internal structures of the plant and in our last class uh, we have studied about different type of tissues how they make the plant and its different components of the plant. Today, we are going to study the next topic that is your permanent tissue. As I have told you, tissue is made up of a similar type of cells which perform a particular type of function. So, tissues are of two types. One is meristematic tissue and another is your permanent tissue. We already studied about meristematic tissue and you also get the idea of the um, uh, topic and about the chapter that what we will study in future about this chapter. So, today let's start permanent tissue. Permanent tissue means these are the tissues where no cell division occurs. Means in case of meristematic tissue, the parts of the plant for continuous cell division occurs due to growth of the plant occurs. But in case of permanent tissue, here no cell division occurs. Remember, when a tissue or when a part loses its dividing capacity, then it converted into permanent tissue. And permanent tissue is again of two types. How many types? Two types. One is your simple permanent and another is complex permanent. We will study this type of tissue in detail with help of diagrams. So, Simple tissue is divided into three types, parenchyma, you should practice the pronunciation because in biology uh, you will face uh, some uh, words or some terms that are completely new for you and its pronunciation is most important. You can't pronounce it in wrong way, it will um, make you habitual uh, for wrong pronunciation. So students, listen carefully. And uh, how I am pronouncing these words, you should learn this, okay? So, parenchyma, parenchyma, simple permanent tissue is divided into three types. One is your parenchyma, second is your cholenchyma and third is your sclerenchyma, okay? Three different type of tissue, simple tissue are parenchyma, then your cholenchyma and then your sclerenchyma. So let's understand what are these tissues, where they found, what are these uh, their functions and how they look inside the tree or inside a plant. As we know, tissues make organs, organs make organ system. Here, in case of higher plants, same happens, means Cells make tissue, tissues make organ, organs make organ system. So, here as I have told you, we are studying about simple permanent tissue or simple tissue. Listen carefully. When we will say a tissue is simple, remember, if it made up of similar type of cells, clear? If it made up of similar type of cells, then it is called simple tissue. Whereas, in case of complex tissue, if it is made up of different type of cells, clear? In simple tissue, only similar type of cells are involved and in complex tissue, dissimilar type of cells are involved and they also do dissimilar function. Okay, students? So, I will start first the parenchyma. Parenchyma tissue is found in different parts of the plant. They are normally thin world like this. They have a little intercellular space between them. You can see how the diagram I am making. And the cells may be round, oval, spherical, hexagonal. Overall we can say all the cells are isodiametric. The set is isodiametric and they may be spherical 
ओवल राउंड एंड हेक्सागोनल क्लियर स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट आई हैव टोल्ड यू इट्स सेप इट्स सेप इज आइसोडायमेट्रिक मीन्स इट्स डायमीटर इज सेम एंड द सेल सेप मे बी स्पेरिकल मे बी ओवल मीन्स एक सेप्ट राउंड like a circle then hexagonal you know about hexagonal so these are the cells and its cell wall here are the cell walls and they are made up of cellulose as you know the plant cell is made up of normally cellulose so they are cell wall and made up of cellulose clear clear students this is cell wall and this is made up of cellulose the cells or the tissue is isodiametric and the cells are spherical round oval and hexagonal then again let's see where are these tissues present and what are their function these tissues are present in the leaves fruits stems etc why because their function is photosynthesis storage and secretion so let's understand as we know leaves perform photosynthesis because they contain chloroplast so function is to photosynthesis means the area where photosynthesis occurs in a leaf there are presence of this type of tissue means parenchyma again i have told you storage storage means food storage we eat some plants leaf as food like your spinach bathua okay and we eat some vegetables like potato is a stem you know about it clear so parenchyma tissue performs photosynthesis and storage so it may be present in leaf stem and vegetables etc again secretion secretion means what type of secretion here secretion means secretion of hormones it means it present at the tip of the plant as we know from the tip hormones are secreted from the radial parts also hormones are secreted as we know five type of plant hormones are found they are auxin gibberellin cytokinin abscisic acid and ethylene they are secreted from different parts of the plant so here the parts that are made up of permanent tissue also performs secretion so i think you cleared about parenchyma let's have a quick recap again about parenchyma parenchyma is a simple tissue which is made up of similar type of cells its this tissue is isodiametric and the cells are either oval round spherical hexagonal their main function is photosynthesis storage secretion and its cell wall is made up of cellulose as they have intercellular space intercellular space intercellular space means when the cells are arranged you can see when the cells are arranged like this there are some space you can see this space space left these are called as intercellular space due to presence of intercellular space they can't give mechanical support to the plant means their function is not to give mechanical support means they can't give strength next move towards your parenchyma another simple tissue that is parenchyma here this tissue is made up of parenchyma is made up of cellulose hemicellulose and pectin remember cellulose which you know all the cell walls of plant are made up of cellulose here it is made up of cellulose hemicellulose and pectin here no intercellular space is found but in some cases intercellular space is present and these cells are arranged like this you can see the diagram like this like parenchyma their cells are also different
different structure in different structure as it is also form under simple tissue so they may be spherical oval round hexagonal etc etc but they have no intercellular space this is the exception no intercellular space no intercellular space and the cells are made up of cellulose hemicellulose and pectin remember cellulose hemicellulose and pectin that's why as here no intercellular space present so its cell walls are thick and tightly arranged which gives mechanical support so here cholangiomatous tissue provides mechanical support clear students and here also another thing is present that is your called lignin lignin works as cement as we know to join two bricks we use cement means it provides hardness to the wall exactly the cell wall of cell wall if it is made up of cholangiomatous tissue then here the lignin present gives the mechanical support to the plant that's why it is normally found in young stems and petiole of the leaf young stems why young stems because young stems have to hold large number of leaves fruits and flowers so they need a mechanical support or strength high strength to hold these things that's why their main function is to provide mechanical support and these tissues are present in young stem and petiole of leaf petiole of leaf means this is the leaf, leaf and this part is called your petiole as it holds the whole leaf so here it provides mechanical support clear this is cell wall and here lignin is present which provides strength you can see the diagram clearly and sometimes it have vacuoles sometimes it have vacuoles as you know plant cells have large vacuoles means it acquire more than 90% of the cell if the cell is cell size is Two diam uh, two centimeter. Then the vacuole may acquire one point nine. So it has also large vacuoles for hold water and other substances. So this is clear about your cholangioma. Next is your sclerenchyma or sclerenchymatous tissue. This is completely different from the starting uh, ones and uh, starting twos because the cells of this tissue are made up of dead cells. means either fibers or sclerids either fibers or sclerids sclerids as we know fibers are dead structure if you uh, uh, put out the uh, outer covering of a coconut then you can see the fibers they are actually dead cells and they have a high rigid structure and they provide strength if we see uh, walnut the outer uh, covering of the nut is made up of this type of tissue that is called sclerenchyma you can see this sclerenchyma they are usually dead they are usually dead means made up of dead protoplast it may have sclerids or fibers means in some tissue either sclerids are present you can see this is a fiber this diagram shows a fiber which has thick walls and the lumen is thin means a narrow lumen is present but its cell wall is thick due to which it gives strength to the plant or the plant part and here is the sclerid here is the sclerid it has small or narrow lumens present inside it and its cell walls are consist of pits so its cell wall is thick it has narrow lumens and pits sclerid is look like this if you uh, cut um, betel nuts or we call your supari from its center you can see the exact structure like this this is actually a sclerid clear so the sclerenchymatous tissue are usually made up of dead protoplast it may have sclerids or fibers they have thick wall and narrow cavity means lumen cell wall is lignified like in case of cholangioma sclerenchyma also have lignin which acts as cement as i have told you it provides the strength to the tissue and again what is its function 
आज आई हैव टोल्ड यू इट्स कंपोज्ड ऑफ डेड सेल्स और डेड फाइबर्स और स्क्लेरिट्स सो इट प्रोवाइड्स द सपोर्ट टू द पार्ट सपोज फॉर योर एग्जांपल यू कैन रिमेंबर द एग्जांपल्स यू कैन सी द नट्स वर्ल्स ऑफ नट्स नट्स मींस लाइक योर वलनट्स आलमंड्स which you say accords etc pulp of fruit pulp means the fibers suppose mango pulp if we uh, remove the cover of a mango then the rest of the part is called pulp so it makes the pulp of fruit while of nuts like in case of guava pear and sapota pear and sapota seed coat of legume and leaf of tea also made up of this type of tissue seed coat of legumes means legumes means pulses type of seeds and its outer coat is made up of this type of tissue means dead tissue remember sclerenchyma is a dead tissue and it provides protection to the part and present in the walls of nuts pulp of fruit like guava pear and sapota seed coat of legumes which i have explained you now and tea leaves the leaves of tea they are made up of sclerenchymatous tissue so for today this is all about your simple tissue in our next class we will study about complex tissue